Worship Leaders Plus. I'm here to mess up Waymaker for you. I'm going to mess it all up because that's what some of y'all asked for. So I'm thinking about how I can mess up Waymaker but still make it sound. You know, I, 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 I took music theory and uh, we sat in a classroom and tried to figure out how to harmonize melodies in four parts. And, and we did that for, for, for years, you know, and then, um, and then I, I got this, my, my theory, music theory and composition degree. And do, do I feel like I'm, I'm any better than I would have been before? Um, I, yes, I can realize potentials with, with but it, it still racked my brain. How am I going to not take from the song? Um, and, and, and this is, I've decided to mess with the song in the key of B, which is a hot mess to, to try to read. There, there's the one note. So key of B, you know. So what I did, what I thought I would do, and I, I you have to stay true to the melody, so I'm building these chords around the melodies. So uh, I think the regular one goes, right? The four chord and the one. And then I did this turnaround, which is okay. But I'm thinking, well, there, there was another song that actually, Here I Am to Worship. Right. So they, there's some cats that wrote, that, that kind of did an alternate version of that. And I found... And then uh, the, these chords, you know, did, did I come up with these chords? No, but they're they're simple enough, and you you can you can patent a melody, but not a chord progression. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take that and glue it in, into Waymaker. And let me give you the example of that. Um, So check this out. What watch this? doing it's a mess those chords are a mess those chords are you know what um you just messed it all up so if you get talked to for doing this i am not responsible for don't be mess blowing up my messages saying they looked at me funny when i tried to do that song it just didn't work out but you know the, the chords they they kind of you know so let me let me show you what i'm doing so in the key of B, so check this out. Instead of going four, one, five, and then six, we're doing this. Six, right, and then the passing, just try to ignore this. So this is a rootless five chord. Remember the gospel? Remember the last video where I told you that gospel loves to take the five chord and make it minor? So that's what we're doing here, and then we're doing this big, what is this? Okay, you see CM Cats? You know, um, there's an A chord, there's an F chord, there's an F flat five, glue them together, and you have a G9 13, which is gonna be your, uh, well, which, which is gonna be your passing chord to this. So you're actually going chromatically, right? But remember I told you about, and this is a big confusing mess. 
So if you stop watching this video, I don't blame you. But uh, remember how I told you that anytime you use a secondary dominant, we're actually using, we're actually approaching it this way as a C sharp seven, sharp nine, sharp five, because how do you approach, uh, if you want to approach a chord, you approach it by its fifth. And if you use a secondary dominant as the fifth, you, you actually have a choice. So we're approaching F sharp minor, right? And we're approaching it using that C sharp. But when you do that, you have that C sharp dominant seven, that makes uh, what's known as a tritone substitution, where you can substitute a dominant seven chord, I mentioned this in the last video, by another dominant seven chord, a tritone away. So from C sharp, what's the tritone away? G, so actually these notes are interchangeable. So again, right, bass player can go, right? Or bass player can go, confused this is this is why you know when I was playing when I was playing um, when I was playing chords from a chord book and oh you know Lord I left your name on high how am I ever gonna how am I ever gonna ex explain that I tell you how you can explain that. I tell you how you can completely conquer gospel music because gospel music is not hard why is gospel music not hard because you know this this, you know your majors and your minors, and you know your diminished, and you know your dominant seven. So check this out. I'm gonna do watch B chord over A flat, A over F sharp, B. I'm gonna play a B chord over E. Then I'm gonna play an E chord over C sharp. Now I'm gonna play a C sharp minor over. Uh, a sharp. Well, if you don't in the key of B, you're all sharps. So check this out. Now I'm gonna play a C over E flat. Now I'm gonna rinse and repeat. That messy chord, just learn it. And actually, when you you learn that chord, learn it because <laughs> you're gonna be doing that when you get into gospel anyway. chord C sharp minor regular B chord remember uh, C sharp over uh, A sharp now C over E flat or D sharp and rinse and repeat now let me add the melody in there watch secondary dominant <laughs> using D sharp and I'm what am I doing approaching um, approaching uh, G sharp minor now check out so let me play it slow let me play the block chord block chord slow here's one for you <laughs> yeah that's where we approach um, and then actually when you play a B3 you're do, you, you do a lot of this so you know it's all messed up uh, today's Saturday, so you guys pull this off tomorrow. Man, show me the video. <laughs>
but it's it's a big mess. But you know, take that gospel stuff and conquer it because it is what what what's hard about gospel is the muscle memory and doing the uh, doing the just learning the uh, learning all the licks for it. But um, from a guy who came up playing. Uh, chords around the melody so in gospel music you're doing uh send me any viruses, no hate mail, um, Jake Jacobs, what are you doing? <laughs> 